Alrighty, one final tier list here in this little mini series. We're looking at the perks and yet again this is a single loop just 30 islands solo normal nothing more nothing less you stinky and uh before we get into it like subscribe and go ahead and send me the last four digits of your mom's credit card let's get into it what's up boys let's look at perks we have a lot of them where's paycheck paycheck s plus if you get this bad boy in the first biome especially oh my god it's sending you to the moon economy builds allow you to buy anything and everything and you're just you're feeling good you're feeling good you can stack everything so much higher if you have money coming in holy sh what is that i hate bees man we figured it out I'm disoriented, man. I'm disoriented. Big old buggy wuggy. There's also, there's these wasps. Dude, one day I woke up and I came out. There's a moth that looks like a hornet or a wasp or whatever in Florida. Uh, it was this, dude. I saw one of these in my apartment one morning. Like, I wake up and I, look how big it is for reference. Like, it's the size of someone's, like, knuckle. Pretty sizable. And I was like, holy shit, I literally do not know what to do. But these are, like, really harmless. It's just a polka dot wasp moth. Back to the tier list, boys. If you want to do melee build, then critical claws is S. If you're not doing melee build, then it's worthless. Uh, so I don't know. Middle of the road, B. Red Fury. After you get a kill, you have more damage boost for like five seconds. Eh. 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 I don't know. Like, take it, I guess. It's only first loop. Not, uh, you might as well. Eh. I don't know. C tier. Danger Close. Even if you're rocking sniper, you're often getting super close range kills. Danger Close is almost always good. Like, how often are you literally killing people from distance? Even if you're running uh, a distance weapon, like, they just start to swarm you. I'm, I'm putting Danger Close S. I think it's good. Enhanced Turrets, only good if you have turrets. So, I don't know. B tier. Uh, Snatcher. Close range kills give you more money. Kind of similar thought process here, but there's better ways to get money. So, I'm gonna go A. Toxic is, uh, what? What, poison stacks or poison damage? I don't think the stack ones are very important. Uh, oh, no, no. They used to not be important because uh, remember, like, level one of fire shot would be, like, 100 stacks every second. Now, it's percentage chance based. So, fire shot level one is, like, 15%, and then it's, like, 20%, and then 25%. So, the amount of stacks doesn't actually increase unless you proc it multiple times on the same person. So, now getting more stacks is actually a positive, right? You want more stacks. More stacks is... Lit. Fire starter. That's more stacks. Poison vial. That's damage to toxic. Still gonna put it up there. Metal rod. That's damage to lightning deponents. Lightning deponents don't really exist in this game almost ever. Like, when do you see an opponent that, like, just has a little lightning status effect? Like, it's almost instantaneous and it's gone. Metal rod's garbage. Even if I'm a lightning rod, uh, build, I'm not taking metal rod. I'll take high voltage, more lightning damage, but not metal rod. More lightning stacks, right? Which one's which? God damn it. High voltage is stacks. So, we take high voltage, put it up to S. Hot steam. Damage increased to burning enemies, right? No. Damage increased when extinguishing from fire. I thought there was a thing called extinguisher. Oil can. That's to burning enemies. Uh, hot steam's insane. And then what's the one for ice? Icebreaker. So, we're putting icebreaker and hot steam at S tier as well. Ice cold is stacks, goes S. Ice cube is damage, goes A. Oil can goes A. And then, like... Poison vial goes A. Vampire is like melee heals. Uh, you have to be running a melee, so like it's meh. If you are running melee, then it's not bad, but you have to be running melee. So I don't know, probably C tier. Critical thinking, increased damage for criticals, decreased damage for non-criticals. At this point, single loop, solo, normal, you're probably not gonna have your critical chance that high. So you're gonna get screwed over by this a lot. Probably F tier. Long term, amazing. Short term, like we're thinking about right now, really, really bad. Scavenger, that's gonna keep you alive a little bit. It's not the best healing perk, but it's a decent one. I'll go B. Uh, vitality, damage increase when you're above 85% health. If you get any armor ever or like know how to play the game, you can take advantage of this. I would vitality way up. Fortitude, what? Increase damage every single island or is that uh health fortitude is heal after each island they can't even weed fortitude like makes it so that you never screw up like you can always get a spike chest for example very very good one of the best healing items uh hard target reduces incoming damage that is great but it's bigger brother is even better which is uh bulletproof so i'm gonna say bulletproof is s hard targets a <clears throat> special delivery more shop items you gotta take that if you can sharp claws that's Melee damage. Melee damage can almost always be a nice little thing to have, though. Especially first loop, first 30 islands. You might as well keep it so that you're one-hit meleeing people that are close to you. I think it's A. Scavenger's A allows you to cheese spike chest or totems. Okay. Yep. I like that. I'm cool with that. Endurance increases health after each island. That is very, very nice to get your health up. Especially first loop. Long term, endurance, like, it doesn't increase very much. You can always just buy more hearts. But short term, first loop, like we're thinking about, endurance is very good. FMJ, that's gonna be longer, or more important, on longer runs for 
first loop. You should be able to get by without it. I'll go B. Regenerator used to be dog. Now it's, uh, now you heal for two per second for 45 seconds. That's 90 heals. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Driller, I love, but for it to start really working, you want to see like level 10. First loop, you don't really see that very often. So it ends up being kind of mid. So probably B. There is S for first loop. Okay. I'm okay with that. Iron Claws. This is like a massive increase to damage for your melee, but the cooldown between melee is increased. So I guess, uh, keep it at A. Are you under the impression, are you arguing in favor of Fortitude as opposed to just buying hearts? Because I think you buy big hearts to like level three and then you just buy hearts. I think that's way better use of your space. And hearts are typically not that expensive. You'll, you'll get an economy build at some point. That's why I have Fortitude lower. My thought process is big hearts is better, which is why I put big hearts at S. Ha ha. Sonic boom, eh. Personal space, eh. Guy customer, F. Black card, S. Plus. Second wind, you should not be using second wind at all, especially in the first... Loop. Finishing move. More uh, crystals if you're going critical, but like your critical build is not going to be that strong. It's it's okay. Gold coating. Get the hell out of here. Rig totems uh, has potential to be up here, but like in the first biome, are you going to get it that high? I don't know. Probably A. Let's do this one. Efficiency, auto load, or ghost ammo. I talk about this all the time. Ghost ammo is the, far, the best by far. It's not even close. Like basically, they all effectively do the same thing. There's a relatively similar percentage chance to like instantly reload, not use ammo, or like gain ammo back, whatever. It, it all means the same thing. Ghost ammo is just a percentage to not use ammo. There's no requirement. Auto loader, you have to get kills, and the efficiency, you just have to deal damage. So ghost ammo is S, plus <laughs> efficiency is S, and auto loader is A. And it really is probably like B, efficiency is A, and ghost ammo is S. <clears throat> probably not S plus. I don't know though. You never have to reload if you get ghost ammo. You could also just go all you can eat and then you will not have to reload on a normal island, but then you get to an elite and you will have to reload. So it is a little bit tough. Like I would probably, I would prefer ghost ammo over all you can eat typically, but at like level one or two, all you can eat is gonna be better. Longer runs, I'd prefer this. So I think I'll, I'll put it right there. How many instances of big hearts plus many instances of hearts give themselves? Many instances of big hearts plus many instances of hearts themselves is way harder to get than fortitude level two or three and regenerator or endurance level one you're probably right on that 100 percent. all right fortitude s that's fair because of that i'll probably bring big hearts down yeah and you got to use your money you know in other ways fast claws that's uh it's melee like i guess if you're going melee take it if you're not whatever blender that's oh fast claws is reload sorry we'll go a eh we won't Reloading's never that big of a deal. When is reloading a big deal? Rockets, sniper, maybe cluster. If you just focus on something like uh, all you can eat or ghost ammo or any of those, then you don't have to reload that much anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna say B. Blender, that's the melee cooldown. We'll keep that B as well. Adrenaline on kills, you get uh, fire rate. So that's pretty solid. Uh, where did I put? Red Fury. I don't think adrenaline's that great. I'm putting it B. Stamina is extra flips. It's not actually required. It doesn't actually help that much. The cooldown on flips isn't not that high anyway. Stamina is okay. Bullseye, what's that? Every 10 one hit kills gives you higher max HP. So you gotta have a really strong build to get one, one hit kills, right? It's only gonna work for some weapons, but you can always melee, especially for a lot of it to take advantage of that. Same thing with assassin. You can always just melee to take advantage of those one hit kills i don't know bullseye is pretty mid though because it goes up by like one or two and even if you stack it up it's oh wow going up by four for every 10 kills it's pretty bad bullseye's f in the first loop okay yeah that's fair first loop it's only gonna be a couple levels uh speed demons another like just goofy goober like it's it's cool to get moving speed like it helps a little bit e tier big claws that's melee range you might as well just get it but again like if you get melee it's not a bad idea like i'm going to sniper critical build but like hey i got i got sharp claws level two so i can also one hit melee whatever you, you don't really need melee range though so i'm gonna go b power armor let's go eagle eye fuck you uh, long range is crazy. He did bring it down though. So C tier. Okay. All the different combos combos. Like I guess no matter what you're hit, sitting at like 20 and maybe level up 40% damage boost or crystal boost, or you get a bunch of health when you, when you increase your combo. So because you have to increase a combo, this one's like really bad. It's like a 50 heal. If you increase your combo and to increase your combo, you have to get a, a pretty big kill streak, like 25, then hundred, then 500, something like that. It's me. These other two though, these are great. It's just like way more crystals or way more damage, especially if you have power armor and a couple plates, because then the armor protects the combos and they never wear out. Plus your points go like crazy. So I literally want to put these S tier. I love them. I think they're so good. Assassin first loop. You can almost always buff this up by running melee. And then it just, it spirals out of control. If you play it right, it's so fucking good because of the fact that it's one hit kills. It used to be like every single one hit kill. And that was S plus, but I think it's been nerfed. It's been balanced. 
I think it's S. Fire call and ice call, I guess we gotta put up here. Um, okay, so let's just speed this up a little bit. Collector, S+, plus. Gemstone, S+, plus. the bonus crystals, S+, plus. Big Chest, S+, plus. Streamer Loot, S+, plus. Checklist, S+, plus. Sentry Turret, F. <laughs> sentry Turret, C, regular sentries suck ass. Sniper Turret, better, but it, it got nerfed into the ground. Auras, 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 auras. They're good, they're not great, really depends. Like, Poison Aura is gonna be S. I think Fire and Lightning Aura go down here, and then Ice Aura is B. I don't know, they're, like, they're good. Uh, Shockwave, were, uh, Shockwave was nerfed into the ground, actually. It definitely used to do more damage. Right now, it's like decent in the first biome, maybe the second biome. By the time you get to the end, it's already out leveled. Maybe if you stack it, it can be good, you know, so I'll put it B. You know, it has potential, but uh, Tasty Orange is crazy, but definitely better for longer loops. I'll put it A. Rockwave's A, you think? First, uh, okay. Uh, all the different armor ones, like when they, when armor dies, it explodes. When armor dies, it, it lights on fire. Like, those are pretty good, but they're not nearly as good as, like, exploding enemies, flammable enemies, poisonous enemies, freezing enemies, all the electric enemies. Those are so insane on every single kill. No cooldown nuts in fact i'm just gonna do it right now they're all s tier every single one of these every single kill uh maybe it's like a one second cooldown but it, it really is just like almost every single kill maybe two seconds even almost every single kill just you get an explosion of some sort of element oh my god now regenerating armor is better and of course obviously obviously level up might be the single best item in the game i'm not sure it might be though gold dice has got to be way up there explosive armor and flammable armor yeah i'll go a for those reinforced extra plates if you don't get regenerating armor you're still gonna want power armor and you're still gonna want to find armor plates so reinforced is a godsend as well very very good i'm gonna go s level up is literally c tier for first loop oh first loop god okay you're you're good at you're keeping me under your control here yes if it only levels up one item every three and you're probably not finding it until i own 30 it is really bad you're right it will get better as you go and long term it's fantastic but yeah grim reaper health per kill it's the best health item it's the best healing item not health increasing item but healing grim reaper grave dodger you should not be going down to one health the grave dodger is sick but in a real build a, a normal run you just Fuck God. okay it's like a beetle it's not that big of a deal i'm such a pussy i'm gonna kill it though watch this oh crunch that fucking head got him tasty orange a it almost always does less damage boost than plus 50 percent which is why you can get from power armor at level one you are right dude always keeping me in check he really is tasty orange is better for longer runs but in the first loop yeah you're not getting more than like 50 kills that's level one of power armor when you put it that way tasty orange is ass cheeks dropping it down to C. uh okay yeah grave dodger like i guess if you're gonna go down to one health you're gonna do it in the first loop right if you're looping you're probably pretty confident you probably have a lot of health so i guess it's like useful in the first loop but you really like it's just kind of a waste of money i don't know I any opposition to putting grave dodger like b tier uh repelling dash ah uh, i don't know it really does protect you from damage like it's hard to take damage when you have repelling dash as long as you're smart repelling dash repelling dash i'm feeling s tier but i'm gonna wait and see what you guys think repelling doesn't always mean you won't get hit though could be S or A. All right, I'm keeping it S then. Performance bonus. You're gonna, uh, in theory, you can get a lot of flawlesses in the first loop. As it goes on, just more enemies, more hectic. It does tend to be a little bit harder to flawless, in my opinion. So if you're gonna take advantage of performance bonus, it's gonna be early, but at the same time, it's a tiny, like, what is it, a quarter of the time? 25% chance to get an additional chest? Uh, I don't know. A if you're bad, S if you're good. Go flawless the entire biome and only get a, a few extra chests, but then you get to, like, level two or three. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll go S, we'll go S. Damage aura, it's only really good in the first loop, but when you level it up a couple times, it does help, but it kind of already starts to fall off by the time you get to the final boss. I guess we could throw it A, but it might even be B. Yeah, it's like level three, like, it's definitely helpful helping out but it's not going to do much against the elites like it's not going to sway the tides of battle against a strong enemy but for hordes and stuff it's, yeah you're right it's nice money is power you're not going to take advantage of money is power in the first loop you're just not it's actually fucking awful b or c for first loop I'll, I'll listen to you guys and move it up to c i'm not going b man no shot <sighs> all right mortar turret Let's see how far we get with this one Mortar turret is really, really good in the first loop. It just is. It just does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage, and it's actually not that slow. It does a lot. I And poison turrets. Like, those just, all of a sudden, most enemies are getting poisoned. Like, very good. I wouldn't call it S+, plus, but I'm going to put these S. Faulty chest. This is a legendary that, like, does not get good until the percentage gets up. And, like, when you first get it, 10% chance to just, like, get everything in the chest. I... I've had it proc a couple times, and I've never actually noticed it. It's hard to notice when it happens, and it doesn't happen very often. 
I don't like this web. I, I hate it. I hate it. It's going C. Double vision is a chance for double chest. That's nice, but again, you're not going to get it very often. Uh, A or B. Rare treasure. Other one. It's not going to proc very often. It's like nice to have for like a longer run. Short run, it's not going to do much. Might even be C. Fire turret. Uh, if I put these S, then I'll put the turrets on A. Ice dash. Crazy fun to use. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does do some damage. Again, we're talking about first loop. I think it might actually be high. Faulty just to see you better put rare treasure C or F. Okay. Can we, can we, can we agree on this one? Can we agree clearance? Can we, can we agree on clearance? Clearance is an 8% chance for items to be 75% off. Clearance is awful. It's literally worse than rare Tony card. You don't like Tony's? Dude, I literally have Tony's S+. What's your, what's your reasoning for Tony's black card being bad? Read what I said again. It's literally worse than rare Tony card XD. Oh, it's worse than the rare Tony's card. Okay, correct. It is worse. Okay, sorry. Tony? Yes. Keep? Keep hop? Keep pop anonymous? Damn you! You gave him the easy one! All right, care package. Care package is what every fourth island gives an additional chest. This one's like super good for longer runs on a single loop. What is that gonna proc a couple times? See, care package should be in the same category as level up. So see, yeah, doesn't hit very often. Power slide. Power slide clears everyone's cheeks on first loop. Oh my god. Power slide can carry a run by itself. If like if you you got it from the the totem, the key totem, and you brought it into the run with you, I think you could ignore everything else and win with power slide. Power slide's insane. No argument, S plus. Tiger Dash, uh, it's, it's better than it used to be. He buffed it a little bit, but man. I wanna put it F, I wanna put it F. I just don't, like it needs to be like tripled in damage. Crystal Asteroid, 5% chance for an asteroid containing a single loot item to spawn on each island. Uh, what the f*** is that? F oh my god, if I could remove an item from the game just to remove it, just to like say, I don't want to see this ever again, it might be Crystal Asteroid or Clearance. I mean, these two are in running for the most worthless items ever made in any video game. <laughs> this is going to be the fun home stretch here. Greed Perks. Greed Perks are massive buffs, but they are accompanied with massive nerfs. So, Juggernaut, for example. I don't have these memorized, by the way. It's embarrassing. But Juggernaut, your max health is increased but by 50%. Big old buff, but then 15% more enemies spawn. So, I don't know. It's probably middle of the road for me. Like, I'll take it, you know? I might as well. But, I don't know. Maybe it's higher. Remember that more enemies is just more money. So, all Greed Perks increasing enemy spawn is a double win. Yeah, I guess it's like, there's no downside. The downside of more enemies isn't that bad, especially on a single loop. Astral coming in with a fax, dude. The whole freaking day. Leap of Faith is like a massive increase to uh, health. 300%, but 10% health is dealt as fall damage. To avoid fall damage, you just jump at the last second. It's so goddamn easy. Leap of Faith is an S+. Bribe is a good one because, again, max health 500%, but lose 5% crystals when taking damage. Just don't take damage. It's not that big of a deal. Glass Cannon. Glass Cannon is ridiculous. Glass Cannon is... 400% damage increase, but max health is decreased by 90. You get 10% of your max health. If you are at 1,000 health, boom, you're down to 100. That's quick math, baby. But also, your weapon is now eight times as strong. It's quick math, baby. Uh, glass cannon's typically worth it, but, it, it, you know, ballsy. Ballsy as hell. It's one of the ballsiest on this list, but I typically think it's worth it. Also, here's the thing we gotta think about. By the way, when you're getting a greed perk, it's coming from a greed totem. Like, 99% of the time, which means you're getting a random one. But you'll see, by the time we're done looking at all of these, most of them are really good and worth taking. So it's always worth the risk, in my opinion. Remember that it's just adding to other perk percentages. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, you lose 90% of your health, and then when you buy a heart, you lose 90% of that as well. Like, instead of going up by 50 you go up by five i'll move a day uh limited loot double your crystals so it's a economy build but there's one less loot choice so you kind of have to also get big chest in order to make up for it i take it because i will always subscribe to the thought process that like you don't need to have a ton of loot in your chest you can just go economy and buy everything from the shop i'm i'm i might put it up top High roller, what's that? High roller, oh, high roller's ballsy. High roller, I'm not convinced that these are correct. It's obviously recency bias. It's two thirds chance to get an additional chest, one third chance to get no chest at all. And it sounds good on paper. And then like you play it and like you'll have like four islands in a row where you don't get loot and you just feel like you're getting cocked hard. It's a net gain at the first loop. First loop, it's a net win. So we'll go, ah, 
Yeah, we're, it's only first loop. Only 30 islands. We'll go S. Rising star. Uh, more crystals drop when eliminating enemies, but more enemies spawn. That's a double win. This is one of the best items in the game for economy. Playing with power. Playing with power is no longer in the game. It was. It has been taken out. And for good measure. So, uh, it's going F. It's so stupid. Double-edged sword. Gain 5% crystals. Gain crystals worth 5% of the damage dealt, but lose 10% of your crystals when taking damage. Uh, I think this one is just like if you're good at the game, it's just a massive economy buff. It's S tier for me. Up the ante is damage increased, but more enemy spawn. Again, like you're just gonna kill more enemies, farm more items, farm more loot, farm more crystals, farm more everything. Uh, double trouble is max health greatly increased, but so is enemy health. This one is typically a pain in the ass. Not a big deal on the first loop though, but typically a pain in the ass. So I'm actually gonna put this one pretty mid. Uh, B tier. Brute force. Brute force damage increased, but incoming damage also increased. Uh, kind of like hot shot, only for all your weapon damage. This one's ballsy, but again, like just get good. I'm gonna put that A. Double trouble B or C. Yeah, I, I might, yeah, I might even put it at C for the first loop. Curse lottery. This one it might not even be in the game anymore, or it's just very different. It, it got nerfed into the ground. You gain 100,000 crystals, but lose 99.5% of your max health. First loop, it's S. Or, you think so? Okay, first loop. Okay. God, he t he keeps talking me into it. Brawler's the new one for melee damage, right? Melee's increased, but weapon damage is reduced. Uh, this one's really dependent on you being a melee build. And if you're not a melee build, this is kind of fucking annoying. So, C tier. Slippery slope. Gain crystals, but also lose health at the start of each island. So, you get a nice little chunk of crystals going, but you lose a bunch of health. I think this one is very good in the first loop. I don't know if it's S. This is like A or S for me. Slippery slope's S plus for first loop, you think so? This is just your tier list now. Damage seeker. Damage. Increase by 250, but lose 1% max health when taking damage. So if you take a bunch of damage, you get plunked down pretty quick. But like at the same time, you never really like take too much damage all at once. So this one's going to be S plus for me in the first biome. And finally, Workaholic. This one I find that I get almost every time I get a greed perk. It's weird. I just like for whatever coincidental reason, I get this one a lot. It's a lot more crystals and your health decreases by 20%. Like just one time it decreases. Very nice economy build. I almost don't know why this one's in there. Like it's so similar to some other ones, but I'll take it and I'm putting it S plus as well. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one. So I think I'm just going to send it with this one. The, obviously, uh, some people won't agree, but I think this is a pretty solid little list. I'm going to say GG's on this recording. Boys.